life long time no see um, it's been a long time since I put up a video um, I don't really know what I'm doing with this YouTube channel but that's okay um, I had some free time today so I thought that I would just kind of play with some makeup and talk while I do it um, I had a really productive therapist appointment this morning so I just got lots of thoughts running around in my brain um, I haven't really been buying as much makeup lately um, just trying to be a little bit more conscious of what I'm bringing into my collection just because I do have so many things already I really don't need to bring much in um, but I mean it has been since I think like December since I like really filmed anything um, so I, th I do have things that are new since then um, just like for example I've got the Michaela palette from Glam Light that I've played with quite a bit um, I have oh god what else do I have I have the um, Flight Club palette from Menagerie that's new I also have the um, the blue icy palette from Glam Light as well so those are a couple new things that I have um, I'm sure that I'll be playing with stuff that you haven't seen before um, so I just kind of grabbed some random stuff to get started. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like a, like a strawberry lemonade kind of look. And this is my Z palette, my like little rainbow Z palette. So I'll probably reach for that too. Um, apologize in advance for my dogs. Um, usually I close the door while I film, um, or like take pictures or anything, but one of my dogs is up here roaming around because he's kind of a nervous wreck. He's got a little bit of separation anxiety. So if you hear some heavy breathing in the background, you're not crazy. It's Benny over here. Benny, you want to say hi? Come here, Benny. I don't know if you can see him. You want to look at the camera? <laughs> no, he's a, he's not interested, but he may, he may uh, pop in at some point. My face is all nice and clean and ready to go. Um, I was in Kansas City this weekend and I picked up a new container of Dip Brow, which I have not purchased in like literally years. I used mine way too long and then the cap finally broke. Um, so it's been a long time since I've used one, especially like a fresh one. So this will be interesting because it's intense and I always use too much on accident, but that's that anyway. Um, ooh, that is satisfying. Like brand freaking new. I use the taupe shade. Um, I'm naturally blonde, but like my brows are pretty cool toned and I don't like them to look too orangey. Um, but I'll just kind of talk while I do my makeup and I have no idea where that's gonna go, but that's all right. My skin has been in really good condition, so I can't complain too much about that. Um, I will say that I have been, like I've, I use a lot of brightening products um, just because I am like scared of sun damage, um, which is unfortunate because I am naturally like pretty prone to getting freckles and I really like like I think I look good with freckles, but like I've been using so many like brightening and exfoliating products that like they don't really come out naturally anymore. Um, so I have been curious about maybe getting some like faux freckle products, but I know that the main like challenge with those, especially with somebody that has like my complexion is that they look too warm toned a lot of the times. I don't want anything to look like super fake or orange. But guess what? I am not afraid of making mistakes at all. Like, I don't know, over the years I've kind of just figured out that being afraid to look like an idiot is just not at all worth it. Like, every day is a new day. Like, so what? if my eyebrows 
are too dark <laughs> or if my foundation shade is not the exact right color like obviously these are things that like you want to go smoothly every time but like sometimes you're gonna try a look and it's not gonna work out and that's okay and honestly just trying to apply that to the rest of my life as well like things just to get where you want to go like things are never going to be perfect and that's okay oh and there's there's benny yeah he's oh shine the camera on him hi this is a cameo yeah i feel like i mean i have a pretty good um i don't want to like hype up my own brows but like I have a pretty good foundation like shape wise um that does make it easier to like do them pretty quickly um and I will say using this super fresh brow pomade for like the first time in forever I'm very curious to um about the the NYX pomade um like I'm very curious if it is like a dupe or how it compares to the dip brow because just because brow products are something that I do go through they're not something that I like to spend a lot of money on like things like eyeshadow palettes I'm definitely willing to spend more money on just because they are um you know like I'm not gonna go through a whole eyeshadow palette um it's gonna last a long time whereas like brow products like I do like a lot of like higher end products but I'm just not willing to you know shell out 20 bucks for a brow pencil when I know that it's gonna be gone in three months you know um honestly I really like the um I would say that my go-to usually is actually the elf brow pencil um I do wish it was a little bit more precise um but for like how my brows are naturally it does work pretty well even when it's not like super sharp um and I think it's like three bucks something like that it used to be three bucks it's probably more expensive now just because everything has gone up in price I went to Sephora for the first time in, like, I think it has literally possibly been years. And I did that this weekend when we were in um, Kansas City. Um, so that was, that felt weird being in a Sephora for the first time since, um, probably since COVID, which is crazy. Cause I used to, you know, I used to kind of obsessively Oh, sorry, I'm like sitting on the floor. I don't really have a good um, setup as far as like where to do this stuff goes. So I'm like chilling on the floor with like an ottoman here and then like this little, this chair that I use just to sit on my vanity um, as my like little holder for my makeup brushes and my, my little mug. Um, it's so freaking hot out today and yet I'm still drinking hot coffee because that's just who I am as a person and then my like sparkly Starbucks mug um okay anyway sorry ADHD get distracted really easily but um back to whatever else it was that I was doing <laughs> I've been trying to use up some stuff that I already have so just like a lot of little samples and like travel size things that I got as like gifts with purchases over time. Um, so this is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I'm not crazy about it, but it's not like I'm going anywhere today, so it doesn't really matter. I absolutely just use way too much. Um, I also tried and have been using um, more regularly uh, the um, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Hydro Grip Primer by, uh, Milk. Um, and I would say that, like, I did not used to be somebody that really used primer. Um, 
but that hydro grip one is so so good um and i do have a drier skin type so i can't really say i know a lot of people um that had more like combination to oily skin weren't huge fans of it um it seems like but at least for myself i really really like it um i can understand why people don't because it is very tacky um but it means like everything like really adheres really well so um i would still say that that one's my favorite i feel like this one um it definitely has a little bit of a thicker formula which i'm not crazy about whereas i feel like the uh milk one like spreads really easily um i think with this one just like with the other one i mean you have to kind of give it a few seconds to kind of sit on your face for it to get tacky before you put the rest of your stuff on um i lost my eyeshadow primer um i was just using like an ulta matte basic eyeshadow primer that i got as a free gift um I'm like not picky about eyeshadow primers at all, um, but I do usually use one um, and then set it with just a skin tone shade. Uh, right now it's like uh, the shade Fresh from the Sultry palette, but it doesn't have to be this. I have a couple other um, things that I like, I would say just as well um, for that purpose. But like I really like the... Um, the ABH formula for setting just because it blends really, really easily. Um, it is kind of sad how ABH has not really put anything out that has been interesting lately. <laughs> um, they did just put out a new palette um, and I cannot remember what the name of it is, but um, it reminds me a lot of that um, Mario palette that was like discontinued years ago that everybody still drools over. So I'd be interested to know if kind of that's why they um, made that one. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, they've really kind of fallen off the map this past couple of years. Um, God, COVID's been that long, which is crazy to think about, but um, and when I went to Sephora too and seeing all like the milk makeup stuff that was all clearance out because they're going out of business is just sad. <laughs> so, I mean, definitely the makeup industry is taking a hit right now, which I get. Like, I think, I think there are a lot of people that, you know, work from home that don't feel you know, like they have to wear makeup. Um, and then it is more just kind of us OGs, like that want to do it more so for like artistic purposes, I guess. Like, you know, um, like for me, I really like playing with makeup, not even necessarily like to go out, but just like, it's stress relieving. Like it gives me something to do and I like that it's non-committal. Like if a work, if a, um, if a work, if a work, if a look really works out, then I can kind of keep it in mind, um, to like recreate when I do go out. Um, otherwise if it doesn't work, I'll just say screw it and wash it off and call it good. Um, I mean, it sounds counterproductive, but I mean, that's how you get better is just by practicing and like loving the process. So even if you don't love the end result, you can still love the process, you know? Um, right now I'm just putting some like bubblegum pink in my, like the outer crease um, from the Glam Light ice cream palette. Uh, this is the shade Mochi and I'll probably kind of um, brighten it up a little bit with that bubblegum shade as well. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, but it's okay. I'm just playing around. Um, this brush that I have um, came from the uh, the Sigma Enchanted palette, um, which is a really pretty one. Um, my work used to carry Sigma, and they don't anymore, which is sad because I love their stuff. 
I should have gotten more brushes while I had a discount, but it's fine. I don't want to talk too much about my work on here just because I try to keep my social media in general and work life separate. Um, but it is good to remind myself that I do work in an industry that I enjoy and that gives me access to things like this. Hair care products too. Um, like right now I'm kind of in between hair colors. Um, like I had a really pretty vibrant pink for a while but um, I need to have things redone and at this point it's probably like a color correction since I have so many so much um, root out outgrowth um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that in July but um, yeah if anybody cares about hair products I have no problem once I am all vibrant again kind of sharing some of my my hair products that I use as well because um, I feel like I have for the most part figured out what works for me um, and if you are just starting out with fashion color or really I mean any good quality hair care routine like that is so much trial and error especially for people with like curly hair or wavy hair um, I can't complain too much because I definitely have like what is it like I can't remember like the rating system. I want to say 2B, but I don't I don't know if that's actually right. Um, regardless, I have like wavy hair that gets like really easily tangled, really easily gets frizzy, the ends get dry really easily. So like just kind of figuring out what products to use to um, tame it has definitely been a process, but I've learned a lot. So yeah, if you want to see that, I'll show you that too. Um, all right, so next I'm going to incorporate some yellow. Um, so I think I'm gonna go on the inner portion of that. Um, for this, I am going to use probably like a combination of different things, but um, this is a Terra Moons shade, um, which is on camera, it almost looks lime green. And it does definitely have a little bit of a green undertone. Um, it's not quite as like warm as um, some of the other yellows that I have, but I think that would make it give it some intrigue. Um, yeah. And this brush is like a wet and wild brush from their My Melody and Karomi collection. And it has water and glitter in it. It's, it reminds me hardcore of like the water bracelets, if you guys remember those. Um, man, I love me. I used to love those things. Oh boy. So this formula is pretty, <laughs> pretty pigmented and powdery. So I kind of overestimated there, but it's fine. We'll make it work. Um, oh yeah. While I am trying to cut down on, um, like my makeup spending to focus on some other stuff. I will say that I do want to place um, a Terra Moons order. Um, I'll keep an eye out for like 4th of July sales though. Um, same with Give Me Glow. Both of those are indie brands that like the stuff that I've tried from them, I freaking adore and I would like more. But like I definitely feel like there's a huge difference between purchasing kind of from those brands versus like ones that I can like find in Sephora or Ulta. Um, like I really want like a giant Z palette, um, not Z palette brand necessarily, um, maybe like another Adept palette, but not, not the folding kind. Um, so that is something that's been on my wish list. 
Um, I think next I'm gonna add some like hot pink, hot pink. This one is from one of the ColourPop um, like nine pans that I've depotted. I just acquired so many of them that it was worth depotting. Really decided what I'm gonna do with the rest of my face I'll probably keep it pretty simple for people that are just kind of um, starting out with doing crazier makeup looks like one thing that I have found that's kind of fun like just as like a little exercise and challenge is to like come up with like two shades that you wouldn't normally pair together um, or multiple shades even really um, and just trying to like not only like make a look with them but like make a look with them like you know what I mean like opposite ends of the color spectrum or something that's like grungy with something that is more like ethereal or or uh, girly like I think that is so fun and it's like a really it's good practice definitely recommend it um yeah what do I want to do I think I might be kind of weird and I might do some of my base makeup and then finish my eyes last um I usually like do mascara at the very very end and I think I want to do some like kind of toppery stuff um like Kind of shimmer things up but i'll do my base makeup just kind of while i think on that quick um so that'll just take me a couple minutes sorry that the camera angle keeps changing i keep like i'm still getting used to this i don't entirely know what i'm doing but it's fine um anyway so i'm going to do my base makeup um i'm too lazy to go downstairs to like properly wet my beauty blender so i'm just like dampening it down with a hydrating toner. Um, this one is from Dermalogica. Um, and with my base makeup, like since I do have, um, like my skin is really clear, like I can't complain too much about that. Um, so I honestly, like I really don't use foundation. Um, instead, I just kind of strategically use concealer and blend everything out. Um, so my favorite one is the Born This Way um, Conceal, Contour, Highlight, Touch, Re... I don't... Multi-use sculpting concealer. I was like reading the packaging, trying to remember what it was called. Um, but it's like super pigmented. You get a ton in the container. A little bit goes a long way. Like it is the best and I will cry if and when they ever discontinue it. So... I swear it is actually my skin tone. It looks like really light on camera for some reason, but I think it's just the, my like, the lighting of my camera stand. I'm very glad that matte skin, like as a general um, like trend has kind of died down because us like um, us dry skin folks 
we need we need a little bit of like radiance in our life okay all right so that's my concealer um then i'm just gonna set it just slightly if i can find my okay powder usually i use i prefer like a loose setting powder um but i just i had this packed in my bag for my trip it's the um becca light shift light shifter finishing veil which is pressed so not really my preference but it works um but yeah that's another brand that's out of business now um so but just like as far as like powder goes I like try to be very very sparing with it like your girl is not over here baking her face just enough to keep it from melting off um then we've got some bronzer oh I lied I don't have bronzer on me it is in my vanity and I don't know if I care enough to go get it um, and I don't know if you can see, but I have these stupid glasses marks, um, on my nose that are, like, constantly there. So usually, like, at the very end, I'll, like, touch that up, too, but screw it, it's not important. Um, I think I have been curious about doing, um, blush, like, more on the front of the face, like, almost... Um, like, you know, like the cute little e-girl, anime girl makeup that kind of goes along with that same, like, frickle aesthetic. Um, so I'm going to try that. It may or may not turn out. It might look silly. It's fine. Um, so the blush that I'm going to use is from the Fairy Blush Palette, uh, which is by It's Likely Makeup. Or just Likely Makeup? Likely. Likely Makeup. Anyway, so this is like a non-traditional blush palette. Um, it's really pretty. Um, obviously they would double as eyeshadows too, but, um, so I am just gonna, oh boy, I took too much. Might have to dust that off a little bit. Okay. Because you can always add more, but removing it is the hard part. So we're going to try to avoid that. And I'm just gonna look like a little sunburned fairy goddess, I guess. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it's fine. Only one way to find out. And I know like blush on the tip of the nose is something that a lot of people get roasted for, but, um, and it's not something that I would say that I usually do, but I do think it's cute. So at least on some people. So why the heck not? And I'll be honest, like, my nose is something that I have always been super self-conscious of. Um, and I feel like I've gotten better over the years, like, just kind of accepting. I'm a girl with a big nose. It's fine. Everybody's got insecurities. Some of ours is on our face, but hey, I have good eyebrows, so, you know, pros and cons. Um... I think I like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, do some more stuff to my eyes and maybe add something to my lips and we can kind of just see how things evolve. Um, I'm very much like kind of bouncing all over the place when it comes to like if I'm doing a makeup look that is more like artistic. Um, yeah, let's see. Do I want... I might still grab some bronzer just for like kind of sculpting a little bit. Um, but I think that's good so far. Um, I also have the Fenty What a Brat um, highlighter. I don't know if I 
showed this previously or not, but um, I freaking adore this highlighter and I'm so glad that I eventually got it. Like, this is something that I put off buying for forever, but I'm definitely gonna use the crap out of it, so no regrets. Um, I think I'm gonna put some underneath my brow bones on both sides, um, and then maybe some on my cheekbone area, I don't know, kind of depends on how sparkly I end up going um, with my eyeshadow. Like, it's hard for me not to just go full on glitter, like, every single time that I do my makeup. Just because I do love that so much. Um, but a lot of times, like, if I'm going to do, like, a really blush heavy look or something, like, got to kind of tell myself, hey, maybe you should rein it in. But again, what's the fun in that? Okay, so what else do I want to do? Um, I did find this little um, menagerie single. Um, this is Chicky, which is one of their trifoils. Um, I feel like the trifoil formula is a little bit misleading, though, because honestly, I feel like it is just like a good quality shimmer. I wouldn't necessarily say that has any type of like trio chrome or whatever. Um, that's all right, it's still pretty, um, and I think it makes sense for the look, so um, I am going to first use the NYX Glitter Primer. I use this almost all the time with like any type of shimmer, um, especially if it's like a chunkier shimmer formula, um, just to like really hold everything down. Um, I really need a new one because I lost the cap to this, and I'm sure it's unsanitary, and I have to like squeeze it hardcore just to get any out, and it's disgusting and old, and um, so yeah, that's on my to-do list as well, but I don't know when that'll happen. For now though, it is still doing the job. All right. Um, and I think I'm probably going to apply this with my finger as well. Like a lot of times, like with chunkier shimmers, um, I just find it easier to kind of pat on, like press it on um, versus trying to pack it on, um, with a brush. Sometimes you just have more control. Ah. Except I'm gonna have to, like, blend the edges out here. I wish that I had, I really want to get, um, like, another thing that's on my wish list is, like, the Suva Beauty, um, Hydra Liners. I'd really like a hot pink one, um, and some of their other colors. I have a green color, um, and it is kind of annoying to use. I feel like I have to, like, build it up a lot, but, like, when I do get to the effect that I want. I do really like the way that it looks. Um, I've been told that like the city color um, has some like good dupes and I'd be curious um, to try those as well. Um, so yeah, it's just another thing. I kind of like always have like a running list of, you know, things that I'd like. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not get them but um you know I can always put it on my wish list um but yeah I think I like the way that that looks um do I want to do eyeliner mm, what do I want to do um I think I'm gonna put some more pink along the bottom so we'll do that Grabbing the brushes. This is just some more of that same color pop, pop pink color.
might just take a little bit of that hot pink and like kind of intensify that here. some different eyeliner options um this is obviously like more of like a magenta pink whereas this is more of like a neon pink I think I'm gonna do the neon I don't remember what all products I used in my previous video so like my apologies in advance if I'm just like using the same stuff that I used previously but like I do definitely have kind of some favorites if you can't tell yeah I like that okay so um next I will do I'm gonna go ahead and do top liner um I don't know if y'all care about that process or not but I'll go ahead and film it just for just to do it because I, I have never watched my own technique so I'd be curious but I'm definitely not not an expert at winged liner but I've gotten better at it okay I'm nearing the end and I kind of just want to get stuff done because I have other things to do with my day so um I am gonna throw on just like a little bit of bronzer just because I feel like my forehead looks like gigantic and it is gigantic which is fine just always think of like Tyra Banks when I was younger like in her like whole spiel um, about on America's Next Top Model about how she had like a giant forehead so anytime like I feel like my forehead's huge I'm just like it's it's high fashion it's fine Okay, so I am going to do eyeliner now. Um, so, this is the NYX uh, Epic Ink Liner. So, I don't know how crazy I want to go with it, but. That looks pretty even. Sorry, I'm like not trying to block the camera. Looks pretty good being blonde like having blonde lashes is definitely really annoying and wearing false eyelashes is definitely something that I wish I was better at but like I kind of have easily irritated eyes and They tend to drive me crazy, so I don't wear them very often. I'd love to have eyelash extensions, but like, 
That is not in the budget right now. Plus like also sensitive eyes, probably not the best thing anyway, but. I'll give it a try someday. And so I'm talking about my eyeballs like tearing up. Okay, so um, that looks pretty good. I think the right side might be a little bit thicker than the left side, but I'm gonna set it with black eyeliner anyway, just to like, um, set everything down, make it more matte, uh, kind of fill in any gaps um, in between my liner and my lash line. So I'm not going to be super critical of it because sometimes that can kind of um, visually even things out a little bit. So I am going to dig into my Sultry palette again for that black, which I've hit pan on. Uh, which is rare for me, like just with how much makeup I have to like hit pan on something. So like that tells you that I use this black all the time. Mostly for setting my eyeliner. Um, this is a wet and oh no, it's Elf. This is from the Elf and Jay Kessa brush set. Um, I really like it. Benny is back. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? What's this, Benny? Say hi to the camera. Oh, yeah. He's a little attention baby. All right. I can't tell if my camera is smeared. I'm going to have to check that out. Anyway, I'm going to set the other side now quick. All right, I went ahead and put mascara on. So the eye look is pretty much done. Um, I did decide though, um, just kind of like for the final touch on that, um, and the inner corner kind of like going up, um, I'm gonna use this. Um, it's kind of like a, it's like a pale, like buttery yellow that has a little bit of like almost a blue reflect to it. Um, that is from the, uh, the Viseart editorial, not editorial brights, the, um, like their master palettes. I am like blanking on the name. Grand Pro, Grand Pro 2. Yeah, I like that. Um, but that was another one, like their pans are magnetic. So I just put it in my, um, Z palette and my dogs are barking downstairs. But it's a good thing I'm almost done because I bet my husband's probably almost home and I have other things that I need to do today. Lots of cleaning. Um, so for the final touch, um, like if I was going out or something, I would probably wear an actual lipstick, but I like literally am just playing around. Um, where did I put it? I have a lip gloss that I just got. Gonna take me a second to find it hang on it was in my lap the whole damn time um so this is from it was like one of the limited edition uh wet and wild collections this is the care bears it's just like a care bears clear sparkly lip gloss um i'm kind of going through like an 80s 90s toy phase right now like vintage toys so like i kind of couldn't resist it and i'll always go through a clear sparkly gloss um
Oh yes, this is very... early 2000s feeling. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna bother with like my hair or like really actually properly getting ready because I'm not going anywhere, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of felt like popping on and um, just talking a little bit. I have a lot of words to get out and um, I have a lot of stuff going on in life. So I don't know, I'd like to get back into it. Um, even if it is just kind of coming on camera and just getting words out. Um, if there is anything that you'd like to see from me, let me know. Um, I'd definitely like to do this a little bit more regularly and maybe talk about some of the other things that I have going on in my life. Um, like home decor, uh, hobbies. I have a lot of stuff going on and like makeup stuff is just like a tiny piece of it, but it does happen to be something that's really easy to do while on camera while talking so all right that is it for me today i am going to go clean and do some laundry bye